guess what? We're on vacation. Okay, right now we're loading up to go camping for two days. We got this and all these <laughs> camping supplies over here. And we got fishing poles and about three other bags inside. And believe it or not, we're actually going with less stuff this time than the last time we went camping. I sized down and bought myself a little cot. Got a little cot that's what I'm going to sleep on tonight. And Angie's going to be sleeping on an air mattress. Now we do have that big huge cot with an air mattress built into it. But we decided that was too much of a pain in the rump last time. But we might end up using that tomorrow. But right now we're going to load everything up a little sparky. We still have fishing poles to get. A bunch of other stuff. we got to go down and get ice and water and tea from Walgreens. So guys, the next vlog entry will be when we get up there to the park. That would be a couple hours from now. We'll see you then. <coughs> we have arrived. Oh, I'm here to tell you. At first, we didn't think we was going to be able to get this spot. We wanted a spot down the road a little ways, but somebody got it. But this one was shown as booked up. And after we was talking to the lady, all of a sudden, on the computer, it says it wasn't booked no more. Let me do a full pan around and I'll show you what we got. Okay, let's start from the car. There's my car. We have to park on, gro on uh, road level. There's no driveway coming back in here, but this place is perfect. For a hot, sunny summer night, I picked about the coolest spot for shade I could possibly find. There's Angie, getting ready to put the tent up in a minute I help her. But yeah, we wanted the spot way down that way. Now if you look over this way, we have woods right behind us. That is perfect. So you know what that means, don't you? Since there's nothing but wooded area behind us. We hear all the God's little creatures through the night. This is home for two nights for us. Yeah, two nights, man, we're here. And right now, being in this shade right, right here, it's so much cooler. And we're putting the tent way in the shade. Now, there's some things I changed this time around. Now, we'll get to that after I help Ange put up the tent. So, I'll be back. Uh, we're moving right along. I'm not going to show anything until we get done with everything. But, I tell you, uh, what we decided for this vacation is, we're just going to go at the spare of the moment. We know we're camping here today and tomorrow and do whatever we can think of doing. Maybe fishing, doing some rowboats tomorrow, or kayaks or whatever. We're just going to take every day, one day at a time. We're not planning because this is vacation. We're going to rest, relax, and enjoy. And I'm taking you guys along for the ride. As a matter of fact, yesterday was the first day of our vacation. And it was Saturday and we didn't do squat. Nothing. We stayed at home and binge watched the... The originals, the vampires, the werewolves, you know. We binge watched about five or six episodes of that last night and didn't do squat. And I got about a day's growth on my head and my face. By the time vacation's over, I'm going to look a little bit rugged. Now, one of the things I did different this time around than what we didn't do last time, before we even picked this place, I looked up in the air. Made sure there was no limbs that could come down through the night. I see that one right there, but I don't think it would be any harm. But no Widowmakers over top of my tent. No, none at all. I make dang sure of that. We don't have no storms in the forecast. Supposed to get down to 70 tonight. We're in the shade. I have a portable fan. I'll get into that later, okay? Let's go ahead and get this finished. Angie's blowing up her air mattress, and we'll show you everything when we get done. Okay, I'm going to show you what we got, guys, and I like it way better than I did the last time I went camping. I'll show you what's different this time around than what we had last time. So here we go. We have the fire pit. we got to go down and get some firewood here in a little bit. There's our lawn chairs, which will be used for our fishing chairs. There's our picnic table, and the tarp you have on there is actually a tarp that came with the tent, but we don't use that tarp. We went out and bought a bigger, thicker tarp to go underneath the tent. And right here, that Angie, well, here's the tent. Now, let me show you something different. If you remember last time, we had the full-size bed in here, okay? Queen size. The queen-size bed that was a cot with an air mattress built into it on top. It took up the whole dang tent. Well, this time I bought me a smaller cot. 
Now all I did was throw my sleeping bag on top and Angie bought herself a, a full size little air mattress which looks to be very comfortable. And there's her sleeping bag. And this time we won't have the rain, whatever thingy, goes on top because we want the airflow to come through. Now I'm figuring through the night we should get some good airflow. If we don't get that much airflow, here's my next idea. Got ourselves a portable fan run on batteries. So I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it out here or put it up on top of the cooler, which is probably better. Blowing down in there on top of us. It being on top of the cooler probably a better idea. Alright, we're going to head down get some wood and I hope nobody steals our ship when we're gone. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody will. So we're going to zip up the tent. Let the tent air out. And we're going down and get some wood. We decided tonight we're going to take it easy and play lazy. I can't beat this spot. This is beautiful. Right there's the tent and the picnic table. We went down and got wood. Not exactly happy with the price we paid for wood. I'll get to that in a minute. There's our fire pit. Right over yonder, that's the bathroom. Unless you want to be like other people have, probably, and go back in the woods. Nah. I won't do that. Well, I won't do that because it's a trail back yonder, and I don't know. I don't want to be one of them people, although I have urinated on trails before, but shh. Well, not on trails. I walked at least 50 feet off the trail. But anyway, when we bought the wood last time, it was a heck of a lot cheaper. Well, about a buck cheaper for each bundle. What it is, you can only use certain wood for here in this park. They had to be bark free, had to be Indiana certified or something. It ain't like you can bring your own wood from home. So with that being said, we paid about, uh, what was that, six, seven bucks for each bundle? Mm -hmm. Roughly about seven bucks for each bundle of wood. Six or seven? Six. Six? Okay. Yeah. And we brought lighter fluid. If you remember last time we went camping, we could not get the fire started because my stupid butt it, okay when we got there last time it was drizzling rain okay and i was going to put the firewood underneath the picnic table but it got all wet because i forgot so needless to say the wood got wet couldn't get it to catch so we had to drive to town just to get lighter fluid <laughs> and that lighter fluid you see there right down there is the lighter fluid from uh last time we went camping so hey and there's a little sparky. Guys, I'm here to tell you. You see all the junk I brought, right? I brought all that in my little car. And I still didn't have to put down the seats. Alright, we're going to sit here and spend the evening. I think for supper we're going to go to town, order a pizza, and bring it back. That's right. We will always cook something here. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Right now we're sitting back relaxing. I'm going to go grab my cold tea. I'm going to sit back here and pretend this is... Well, this is home for two nights. i see y'all after a while. We're going to probably do the fishing tomorrow, and I'm glad we are because we forgot to make the dough ball. That's okay. <laughs> tomorrow we're going to get the junk to make it, and we make it. But tonight we're going to have a little mystery, guys. Let's go out here, okay? I'm going to take you to a small horse trail. And there's a little trail's connecting to this one. Tonight we're going to grab the flashlights. And maybe the GoPro. God, I hope I can get some serious light. And we're going to walk up that trail. Maybe down that trail. Or maybe walk through this trail. And I'm going to tell you a story that's a legend up here. And this story has actually hit the news back many years ago. A lot of people believe this legend, I'm going to tell you. We're going to talk about a legend of the Wolfman here in Versailles State Park. That's right. We're going to walk as far as we can in pitch black. I'm going to be quiet though because, you know, after 11 o'clock you got to be quiet. Those other campers, you know. But we're going to walk right on down the trail there. We don't want to go too far because we're going to probably won't be able to see our way. And we're going to see what we can see and talk about the Wolfman. The Wolfman of Versailles State Park, man. That's right. All right, guys, I'm going to sit back and spend the evening with, well, spend, yeah, it is evening. Spend some time with Angie till it's yum yum time. 
and I just talk to you later, man. The videos for this whole vacation will probably be long and pretty much be like this, okay? You know, because I couldn't, I do know we're camping tomorrow and fishing, and we're probably going to hit a canoe or a kayak. Uh, the next day, we might be camping again somewhere else. I can't tell you, because we're making it up as we go this time. That's right. I see a little bit. Big, huge vulture over there. Let's see if I get a little closer to him. Look at this thing. He's over here looking and saying, hey, when you guys leave, I'm going to go pick through your stuff. Big old vulture. Look at that. Up to no damn good. That's what he's up to. Up to no damn good. Look at that darn thing. Kind of looks like a turkey. Turkey vulture. Is there such a thing? Well, we just got done with supper. We had Pizza Hut. Now, I could have easily brought some hamburgers or hot dogs, cooked it on the grill. We'll probably do that tomorrow. But tonight, we're on vacation. We're on vacation tomorrow, too. So, we went to town to get some pizza and brought it back. Now, my question to you guys is, for those of you all out there that's been camping, do you camp in a tent, or do you camp in a camper thingy? Let me know down yonder. Let me know down there. And by the way, I'm going to leave in the description, and Mike, i got to remind you, I'm reminding myself now, I have a page on Facebook dedicated for my YouTube channel. It shows behind the scenes. Beyond the scene footage, it shows things you won't find on my channel. And if you guys ever want to leave comments, I guarantee them comments get answered first. It's easier that way for me. We'll get more into that the next, you know, as the get as the next days go by. But right now, yeah, I made it up yesterday, and it's a Facebook, whole other Facebook account dedicated to my YouTube channel. Pretty cool, huh? All right, guys, we'll get ready to start a fire probably soon, and I'm going to tell a story. We figured we're going to do a little bit of trail while we still have a teeny bit of daylight. Let me show you something. Can you see right through there, right there's our tent, and right here is the wooded area. I usually do this with the GoPro. I also usually do this with my hiking boots. Right now, I've got my regular street shoes on and I'm doing the handheld. GoPro will probably be put in use tomorrow but today it's all handheld video. Now I figured tonight might be best if I tell the story by the campfire. The story of the Versailles State Park Wolfman. So peaceful out here. Yeah what we're on is an old don't know if it's a forgotten horse trail or not. Wouldn't that be kind of wouldn't that be kind of cool? Maybe tomorrow sometime. See a bunch of horses go up through here. It's been used. There's horse poop right there. Yeah, I would show you guys, but the last time I showed horse poop in one of my videos, it wasn't exactly cared for. Just saying. This is Horse Trail S, and actually we have been on this trail, but we didn't come to this side. Yeah. We've actually been on this trail, but it was on the other side. So if we keep following this trail, it takes us out to the um, horse what? The day horseshoes or the horse uh, campground. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so beautiful back here. Mm -hmm. We may have to hit this trail again tomorrow. Yeah, we're only gonna put a little bit of a, a little bit of a walk in tonight, enough to digest our food. Just to see what's, what it's like back out here. Oh, man. Guys, this is heaven. Not only I get to walk this trail tonight, I also get to sleep, basically, under the tail. <laughs> um, I was going to do the, uh, I was going to do the story while I was walking on the trail, but Angie and I got to talking. It may be, may be more suitable to tell like a story at the campfire. You know, you ever remember when you was a kid? Or anytime you ever went camping, there's always a spooky story stole, told at the campfire. All right, we're gonna walk up a little bit more. It looks a little bit washed out up here. 
I think we may be stopping. That's slightly interesting. Now we don't have our hiking boots on. Now tomorrow when we get our hiking boots on, we'll walk right through that. I'm not going to walk through that with my everyday shoes. Yeah, right there's my everyday shoes. You can see all the horse prints, or hoof prints from the horses, but yeah, we'll walk on up there and hit a whole trail tomorrow. Also, it looks like they've been a bulldozer back here or something, digging some stuff out. I'm not sure. All right, guys. I'm going to head back to the tent, which is only maybe at the most not quite a half a mile away. Sit back, talk to Ange, build a fire when it gets dark tonight. We're going to end the video with a story. That's right. We're going to end the video with a story that a lot of locals, a lot of people claim to be true. Spooky, huh? I didn't walk in the divorce poo-poo, did I? I almost did. <laughs> I'll see you all tonight. As I sit here, I'm waiting for it to get a little darker to tell my story. I've been watching certain people ride their bikes around the campsite. That is the one, down, that is the one downside to having a little sparky. I'm not so sure if that would be even possible to put a bike rack on a little sparky. I have two perfectly good bikes at home. It'd be kind of cool to ride around the campsite on bikes, but that is the downside. Maybe one day, because in the future, we're hoping to get a van and turn the van into a camping van. But it's in the near, near future. All right, guys, I'm trying to remember the story so I can do it justice when I tell you, and we're getting ready to light a campfire. Yeah! All right, we just walked over to the restroom, which isn't far, and... We decided to come the long way back on the road. Well, we passed a garbage can, a dumpster, so we're like, hey, you know, we got some garbage and some of us, a uh, little bit of that pizza left over, just a teeny bit, like crust and stuff. And we figured, hey, we'll probably be getting little critters, little critters through the night, so we figured we'd walk this over to the dumpster and throw it away and walk back. All right, bug, leave me alone. <laughs> A little, a little extra walking tonight. Little, you see that bug flying around me? Probably another dang horse fly. Okay, let's dump our garbage. Looks like that's all was in there is white bags. I don't know, which way do we want to go back? Okay, let's walk around this way. It's quite beautiful up here though. I can't do this justice like my GoPro does, but yeah, it's pretty neat. By some chance, we need to fill up our uh, our big jug of water. Got the water thing right here. Yeah, that's probably going to come in use tomorrow. Because we're going to be here all day tomorrow too, so that's definitely going to come in use. Now, tomorrow we'll probably do some fishing. Matter of fact, I know we will. And tomorrow's going to be the day we're going to try to canoe or kayak. Or maybe both. Angie's already complaining because I want to take the long way home. I want a little extra walking. Ain't nothing wrong with me getting a little extra walking in. But yeah, here's another water thing right up here. Huh. So there's no shortage of water. None at all. Now, on the inside, it looks like there are bigger spots. Of course, this right here would be something I wouldn't want. Angie <laughs> playing with the water. <laughs> Get you a drink. <laughs> that water's made to clean your glasses and water. quench your thirst at the same shower. time, my dear. That water give you a shower. But it don't have that's anything down here for the... Uh... No, that's on this side. Oh, it's on the other side? Yeah, it's on okay. this side. Okay. Yeah, There's a good possibility we may be camping again. Tuesday night too. We're camping Sunday and Monday. Today's Sunday. We're camping tomorrow and possibly Tuesday, but not here. We may go to Whitewater and camp there. We don't know. Don't know what kind of funds we have, but we don't know. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the campsite and start a fire. And there we is. There's home for tonight and tomorrow. Let's get this fire started. Fire, guys. Here's the fire. 
We'll start the story when it gets a little darker. Let's just hope this stays lit. <laughs> just saying. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this now while I can still see a little bit. But back many years ago, there was an outfit called the Raiders. Uh, they came through for sales, which is where I'm at now. And they just raided everybody. They robbed from the stores, took the food from the people living there. But there was one guy that was part of the Raiders. He didn't want no part of it because he, he, he had kinfolk around here. Silas Shimmerhorn was his name. So he basically uh, left. He went AWOL. And he came up here, which is today, Versailles State Park. Back then, this was all forest. All forest land. So he came up here to hide from his outfit because he wanted no part of it. He knew if they caught up with him, it was a sure death. So he hid up, he hid up here in this forest that used to be. Now the other raiders, the outfit he belonged to, looked all over for him, high and low. But he knew this area because this is where he grew up. It's where he had kinfolk. He also knew he couldn't hide out with, with any kinfolk because that'd be the first place they look and it'd be a sure death if he was found there. So he hid up here in this area, which is Versailles State Park, and the story goes, he actually hid with a pack of wolves. Mm -hmm. And he hid here so long because he was terrified to go home, afraid he might be killed. He hid here so long, the pack of wolves accepted him in, his, in their pack as one of their own. Well, after the Civil War was over, Silas never went back home. Mm -mm. Nobody ever knows what happened to him. Only thing they knew, and only thing it was told, he was hiding out here with a pack of wolves that he calls his only family he has now. He survived in these woods, just like the wolves did. Nobody knows what happened. But it was also once said many years later, good old Silas Zimmerhorn shows up every so often here. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure what date this is, but I think it was back in maybe the 80s. It was a DNR. One of the park officials was coming up the road, coming up here to the campgrounds. It was late at night, and it was a the night they heard a lot of wolf howls. The howls were just ear, ear piercing. And he sees something in the middle of the road. It looked like a half man, half wolf. Could that have been Silas? That's what the guy asked himself. The park ranger. That's what we're going to call him. He asked himself, could that be Silas? Could that be true, the stories we hear? Because everybody said they spotted the wolf man every so often. Not to stop in the middle of my story, but Angie killed my fire. I didn't kill it. It's still going, see? You killed my fire. It's still going. See? It's still going. <laughs> so they say... If you're up here camping, in the middle of the night and you hear wolves, it's possible you might see Silas. He runs through here, through the middle of the night. But if you see him, you don't approach. You don't approach him. You don't go nowhere near him. Because they don't know if he's a wolf or a ghost, or both. You know, this might be an old legend, one of them old ghost stories. But there's a little truth to every ghost story. How much truth is in this one, I do not know. It is on record that there was a guy, Silas, Silas, that did go AWOL from the Confederate soldiers because he did not want to harm any of his neighbors and friends and family. And he did hide up here, which is now for Sale State Park. Then was a force. That part is very true. And it's also said he lived up here because he followed the wolves and become one with the wolves, become with their pack. That part is also said to be true. So could it be true that he's still seen? Is he still alive? No. If there's anything, he's a ghost. Could he be here in Brussels State Park? Could he be here tonight? 
I'm going to tell you now, if I see them, I won't run. I won't hide. No. I would just sit back and say, wow. Maybe that story's true. But guys, that is the story of the Wolfman of Versailles State Park. The Wolfman of Versailles is what it's called. Look it up. You know, I didn't do the story justice. But look it up. There's a whole story about that. Go to Google. Type in the Wolfman of Versailles. Go on. And pretty much what I told you is every bit right there and plus more. Oh, yeah. So maybe tonight we'll hear the Wolfman. Now, the last time we went camping, we did hear a creepy sound. We heard a sound from a fox. Oh, yeah, it was a creepy sound. But, guys, it's getting late. I'm going to go ahead and close this video down for today. Thanks for watching. And tune in the next day. It'll be Wednesday for another adventure. That's right. Another camping adventure and whatever else we do. Because we're on vacation for the next nine days. Well, no. For the next seven days. <laughs> we'll catch you next time, guys. Come on. Let's get out of here. We're going to try to get this fire going. Just like last time. Bad luck with the fire. We'll catch you next time.